Hello everybody, Minostorm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we continued working on our freight rail network that saw us put this train on our completed line that runs out of that station and uh, along this corridor, splitting off here and up to our food processing plants. And also hooking in this forest. So we should have plenty of stuff here for that train to move both directions. Hopefully, eventually. Um, lots of coal sitting there. But for now, the plan is going to be uh, to continue our freight. By taking rail out of, again, this same station. And rolling up here. This forest. That oil well. That farm. That oil sand mine. And that chemical plant. I gotta decide where the stations are gonna go. Where the trucks are gonna go. And that sort of stuff. Most likely... We're going to put a station over here by the forest, truck the oil in. We're going to run up here. We're going to put a station along this oil sand mine, truck the grain in, and then roll up here to this chemical plant. This is the, this is the scenario that we're going to use. It, not most likely, it, it is what we're going to do. So... Let's get to it with our first station. Now, the question is, do I want to hook it directly to the road? Is that going to be effective and, well, and reasonable? Problem is, is that we're gonna bump into that highway, which isn't necessarily a problem, it just means we're probably gonna have to relay the highway. You know what? Let's do it. That drops it down a bunch, which should hopefully make it easier for me to either tunnel under that road. All right, let's go ahead and tear that road out right now. Since I already know it's going to be something I'm going to have to deal with. And let's put in the tracks. Tracks are going to be heading in that direction, so we might as well just come straight out. Straight and level, and let's see what it looks like. Takes a little bit. That's where it would emerge. Okay, that's fine. Drop it in. Expressway, right. Come over top. Of the tunneled section.
and then connect that in. Yep. That will work. Okay, we just need to clean up some of this terrain. Which is nothing the smoothing tool can't do. That will be fine. Okay. okay. Now, I do want it to... Blend in. For a minute. But actually, we're probably going to split off here pretty quickly. Let's just let's just see what a direct connection looks like without thinking about it too much. It touches that hill a little bit. Okay, bridge, long bridge, little bit of bridge, bridge, tunnel, tunnel. Well, it could probably be a more cost of... Only 650 grand? Well, we haven't actually put the bridges in yet. Right. Um, that's not terrible. Let's do it. Keep it simple. Probably want to fill that in. Over here, we're going to put this type in here. This bridge is going to be the larger. Cross. Same with this bridge. And that bridge. This bridge, I think, can be the smaller truss. And there we go. 2.6 million. That makes a little bit more sense. here we're gonna want the same type of station there and we might as well go ahead and put in the terminus just so we know where everything is gonna be There we go. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to want to kind of snake like this a little bit. Okay. Now, what happens if I try to run my tracks? Just direct there. Couple of tunnels and a... Bridge. Uh, 
Do I want to burn that bridge? I think I might. Yeah, we'll make that a berm instead of a bridge. And then what we'll do is we'll just... Give it some smoothing. I don't have to worry about things like drainage. Alright, but that does feel a little bit more normal. Okay, so then you... Does it give me the the curve that I need? Yeah, it does. I think we'll do the same here. We're just gonna make that berm all the way around. Straightforward. Now, the issue is going to be. No, no, the issue won't be that. Never mind. I was thinking, how in the world are we going to get stuff from the depot? But no, we have all these switches are double slipped, so train should be able to get wherever it's going to go. All right, then. Let's make the line. All right, and then you're going to stop here. Pick up logs and fuel or, or and oil what i would say is we only need to stop at each station once Yeah, going out, stop, 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 and then come all the way back, and then same deal. And we're going to call this one Train Freight. Uh, Lake Armstrong Freight. Okay. We need signals.
All right, signals are in. But... We're still not, because we are... Yeah, right, we need to put the, um... We need to do this. There we go. Alright. Let's get the truck set up so that they are ready to go. Now, the way I would want to do the trucking... ...is this. I would want to bring... I do actually want to climb that hill a little bit. Yikes, that, uh... Maybe something more like that. Yes. Something more like this. swinging in there but rather the trucks come down this road rather than trying to come down this road right and I squeeze that in there uh Probably not. Okay. Well then. We'll just bring... That over there. Make it a little larger because I can. road depot that is close enough not really okay Canada Air CL44 aircraft a bunch of locomotives and the Peterbilt 352s all right Genie NNW EL2B fantasy all right so we now have the Peterbilt trucks That means we can do massive truck upgrades across the entire network. That might be what we're doing next. Let's get this set up. In fact, this is probably going to be the first new line with the new trucks it's emerald city oil it's the only thing that is going to be moving is the oil and so we can put tankers on there let's take a look and our brand spanking new trucks. We just 
go from the Vol Volvo Viking to Peterbilt. All right. It carries, what, 36 capacity and three compartments. Let's put four trucks on it. I know those oil wells can make can produce a lot of oil if they have the, uh, the demand for it. All right, there they go. Now, over here, we need to connect this farm to there. I think that's the only other road connection we're going to need, right? Other than delivering stuff into, into town. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Now, what I might do, because I can, is run a road from here. Over, the, over to there, so I can use this road depot for this plan as well as some others all right this is gonna be i don't know where the m came from lake armstrong grain that's all that's going to move is grain. At least I don't think it's going to move anything else. Though sometimes the uh, the game has a way of finding connections you didn't think existed and moving stuff along those lines, which is fine. But we're actually going to put a truck in here that only carries grain, so... Or carries primarily grain. So, same deal. Four trucks. I said four trucks. Thank you. All right. I have two Lake Armstrong grains. I do have two Lake Armstrong grains. Okay, then. Let's rename this one. Salem grain. There we go. That works. Okay. So now what we need is a train. And a train built out of the right slot on this depot. There we go. 
So, let's see what we got. Locomotive. Steam. Tempting. But I would like this to actually make a profit. I could do the same thing I did before, is put these Pennsylvania Railroad SD9s on there. These are electric multiple units, multi-units. 1,600 horsepower, 323,000 foot-pounds of torque. Um, sixty five miles an hour. You know, let's try it now. What is it going to need to move? It's going to need to move. Oil, logs, grain, oil sand, plastic. So basically, it's going to need to be able to move everything. But we're going to need a lot of state cars. We're going to need a lot of tankers. And we're probably going to need a... Well, yeah, we're just going to need a, not very many um, box cars. I don't think we're going to need... So not trying to effort, we're looking for top speed. That's what we're looking for here. Because this is going to be a 65 mile an hour train, so 75 mile an hour wagons. Should be fine. Let's add a couple boxcars. Six, seven, let's go with eight tankers. Mm hmm. Let's go with these gondolas one, two, three, four, five, six. Flat car with side stakes. Let's see, 13, 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a pretty big, heavy train. Um, now let's just start with with that. Six of each of these, two box cars. And that goes on the Lake Armstrong Freight Line. Give it a paint job.
Okay, yeah, that's good. And we just need to get it, like, out of the depot. What are we doing? Ten? Okay, there we go. That's actually starting to carry some load. That's good. Should mean that we're now gonna start seeing. We got some logs, good. You are seeing some customers. Do we actually have any oil on the trucks yet? Does not appear so. But I do have some oil sand, okay. You are starting to see some customers. And there is actually grain on the trucks. All right. Good deal. And... Ooh, no. We have traffic on that road. That is not what I want to see. Okay, well, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Because we have a refinery over there, so that's going to want some oil. There we go. There's some oil. Okay. Everybody is starting to produce. All right. Well, we're going to take a look at our trucks. And one of the other things we're going to have to start doing now over here is delivery into the cities. Right? Putting freight into the cities, which... Not gonna be need very many trucks, but we need to set up the line on uh, the lines for those. And um Yeah. Then we have just about everything hooked up, I think. To double check. But yeah. We're gonna go ahead and uh save that for next episode. So we'll go ahead and stop here and hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.